Alright guys, here's something I want you to keep in mind with these low acrobatics, alright? They look stupid, but, you know, the, their whole purpose is to get your body moving in ways that help you and make you stronger, alright? So here's an example of what we can do with the star. Okay, watch me get in my position in this weird way, I don't understand why I did that. Okay, so see how I thread my leg through and pick my hand up. That's what it looks like on a plane, all right? It's a surface, it's flat, all right? This uh, little ghetto rail I set up is a, um, that's an axis, all right? We can draw that as a line, but see how it's the same thing, all right? I grab it, I prop one leg up, you know, so three points, and I thread my leg through the exact same way I do in the stock. And I pick my hand up, my hand just comes up. Right, see? It's the same thing. Alright. It's just on the ground, it looks a little different. It looks like break dancing, but you can see, thread the leg through, pick the hand up. Alright. If you're in trouble, uh, you, you, you just you know, go right over it. The exercise start that in parkour that's called the safety vault. It's the same thing. And here's an example of what you can do. Same movement, instead you, know, you don't put your foot down. You come in at an angle and you don't put your foot down before you thread the other one through. So you only have one point of contact, that's your hand. And your other two feet go over. And the same thing. You thread that bottom foot through. Alright, this is called a thief fault in parkour. Okay. And see how it works? Alright, if, if you're running, right? Obviously. If you're doing it in parkour, you're gonna be running. And there it is again. Oh, I almost forgot. I did mess up that first time, so, uh. I wasn't really paying attention to the video, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so now here's an example of another low acrobatic we could do. To do the reverse of the thief vault, to do the lazy vault, that's the um, bicycle you see here. Alright, let's see how I can just string it together, you know, kick my legs up. It's the bicycle with the high kicks. Yeah. And C how it just turns into the lazy ball when I do it to that um, you know, rail. I, I just did that by setting up two saw horses. I didn't actually expect the saw horses to be able to take my weight. Right? I'm 200 pounds, and these saw horses were really flimsy, so and that was a bit of a surprise. It was pretty good. Now, I've never done the lazy ball before, and it's really weird for me to step off on, uh, you know, my inside foot like that. So I couldn't really do it running. <laughs> so that's why you don't see it. And there's there's Moose. He's refused to give me the ball, so he doesn't get it thrown. There's the thief fault again. That was actually my attempt at a lazy ball. I just turned it into a thief fault because. Um, Stepped off on the wrong foot. <laughs> and there we go, you can run through with all of these. And they're pretty much just the low acrobatics, but on the rail.